Hi guys, this is René for GNS 3 volt and I want to show you how you can use the TFTP server on your Cisco router. Uh, okay, so what are we going to do? I'm going to set up router TFTP as a TFTP server and I want to make sure that only the 192.168.12.0 slash 24 network is allowed to access the TFTP server and whenever my router called client tries to download a file called config it should receive the configuration file of router tftp so that's what we are going to do and i'm going to show you how to do this uh, okay so let's go to router tftp here and the first thing i need to do is say copy running config to the flash So now we can see there is something here in the uh, on the flash, and the file is called tftp config. Uh, okay, so that's the config. Now let's enable tftp server. So what we can do is use the tftp server command, and then you can specify where the files are that you want to serve. So I'm going to use the flash, and of course there's only one file here called tftp. Uh, dash com conf g um, but if you want you can use the alias command like this alias and then you can type in something like this config so whatever a client is trying to retrieve a file called config it will send the tftp dash conf g file so that's what we are going to do here and there's one more thing we need to do if I use a question mark, you can see that I can refer to an access list to determine the hosts that are allowed or not allowed to use this TFTP server. So I'm going to use access list 1 here. And then in access list 1, I will say permit 12.0 with the correct wildcard. So this is the only range that is allowed to use the TFTP. Now let's go to the client router, see if it works. Uh, but before I do so, I'm going to enable a debug here. Debug TFTP events. And then on the client router, we are going to do copy TFTP. Uh, type an IP address of your TFTP server. This is the file name, config. And I'm just going to copy it to my null interface, which means it will go nowhere but you can at least see that the copying is working so loading config from this IP address okay you can see the number of bytes and if we look at the debug on the TFTP server you can see that it says opened flash this file looking for config which is this file and so on and so on and it will send that file um, so that's it, that's all that we had to do. So I created the access list, I made an alias for the config file, and we tried to copy the uh, config file from the client, uh, sorry, from the TFTP to the client. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and till next time.